gone throughout the lectures at, up to this point, your game should be working pretty well. You've learned about collisions and you've got your counters. So when you run your program, it's going to look something like this. Hopefully you are eating your cherries or avoiding them if you chose to go that route. You're keeping a counter, one or more counters. And you've adjusted your number so that you actually are eating the cherries. These numbers haven't been adjusted. So what more can we do? Well, one thing that can make your game more interesting is if you have multiple screens. Right now, this is the only screen that's showing. So if you were to crash, which I will crash, but it's just not telling you, nothing really happens. And we want maybe something to splash up on the screen saying, you crashed, and something about winning or losing. So you're going to add in some kind of element to your game that will let you win or lose. Now, one thing I didn't show you was how to crash, how to demonstrate a crash for your smiley face. I want you to figure that on your, out on your own. You already know how to detect the edge for a cherry. So detecting an edge for the smiley face isn't going to be very much different. So you know that this side, x is 0. You know on this side, x is the width. Up here, this side, y is 0. And down here, y is the height. So it's just a few if statements to determine if it's hitting the position of my smiley, is hitting any of these, and if so, I want to do something about it crashing. So let's talk about how I can change the state of what's going on and how I can have a different screen show than what I'm showing right now. You can even add another button if you want to, like a continuing button to go with your new game. There's a lot of things that you can do. So one thing, I think the easiest way to get a different screen to show up is I'm going to have a variable that shows what state my game is in. So I'm going to call it status. And I'm going to start it at zero. So a zero status means I want all of my objects to draw on the screen. And a different status means I want a different screen to show up. So I've already created a few on a different game. I'm going to just pop into them super real quick. So with the power of cutting in my video, you can see that I've created three different functions here for a crass message, an end message, and an intro. And you can just kind of do whatever you want. Pick your sizes, pick your locations. Yours does not have to look like mine. This is just some examples of different screens that I might want to show during my game. So how can I work with my status then? One thing is, and every time I start a new game, I want my status to go back to zero. So I'm going to go ahead and add it up here as a local variable, I mean a global, and I'm going to reset it to zero like I do with my other globals. So every time I start a new game, I want it to go again, unless I want the intro to show or something. Okay. Now in my actual draw canvas, this is going to be the workhorse here. This is where all the action is happening. This is happening about 30 times a second. So I'm going to be, and everything that we're going to do is all if statements. This is stuff that you know. It's just applying it, thinking about your conditions, and what do you want to happen when a certain condition happens. So I'm going to actually take everything that's happening here, I want to happen as long as the, state, the status is zero. And when the status is something else, I want a different screen to show up. So this is basically my game playing screen. I could actually make this into a function and pass in some parameters. If you want to do that, I'm going to let you figure that out. I'm just going to keep it here, but that would be a great thing, is to divide this up even further, to making this like my game screen and everything else I have as messages. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to start with an if statement, and it's going to be what my status is, and then for every different status, I'll have something else, a different option happen. This is going to be the main one. So I would start with if status equals equals, zero, then I want all of these things to happen. And that means I have to indent them all. So once again, I'm going to kind of cut away, get this already indented, and we'll come right back. Okay, you can see that I've got everything kind of indented here. So here's my first if statement. If status equals equals zero, then this is what we've been doing all along. I just indented it. But then I've added a few new things. So if um, I'm going to crash, and I'm not going to show you all my code here, but if the smiley face, does, smiley face does crash on either side, I change the status to 1. 
if, um, and I came up with a way to end the game, and that's just if I miss more than four cherries. So that's, I'm going to end the game pretty quickly, but that's just for testing purposes. But you can think of anything that you'd want to do where you might lose, or something you might want to do to win, and make it some kind of a condition, and you can change the status. Now, after I've got everything done that I want to do, I'm going to just do another elif. So if the status is one, I'm going to call my crash message. If the status is 2, I'm going to call the end message, and I've even got, I'm actually going to start my status at 4. I'm going to change this up here to 4 instead of 0, because I want to start with an intro. So I'm going to start it at 4, I'm going to call the intro, and then it, the intro is going to tell the user to click on new game, and new game is going to change it back to 0. So I'm going to take out the new game here. You don't have to do all this, I'm just showing you some examples here. I'm going to run the program. got the error message because I forgot to put it right here. I'm making some changes to other programs, but it is going to become a variable that I change here, so I want to make sure that I, I'm doing it globally. Okay, so here is my intro. I kept it really simple. But nothing happens. My, stat, my status is still full until I click the new game. When I click the new game, the status is going to turn to zero, and here we go. Now if I crash into the side, I change the status to 1, and I get the message crash. I click on New Game, and now I'm going to just wait until 4 cherries get missed, and I will lose. Okay. So this is just kind of an example that you can use a variable, and I just called mine status, to determine kind of what's happening, if you want the game to play, or if you want some other screens. Yours do not have to be like mine at all, but you can have as many as you want, and it can do as many different things as you want it to do. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're getting ready to personalize, and an intro screen, of course, is always really nice. And if you do that, you can eliminate the need to call New Game down here, because you can instruct them to click on New Game. So I encourage you to go ahead and give it a try. It's another thing, another great element to add into your game. Plus, also getting your smiley face or your picture to crash on the sides and having something happen.